I ended up at the place where I come every morning, where I just like to think by myself. Usually I'm here working out, but this time I'm not training. I can't focus. I can't think straight. Where is all this coming from? Don't talk to my brother. I, I just don't know. Should I listen to my agent? and not talk to my brother? Or should I talk to my brother? Because he is family. Did you see like a, like a, a switch in his mindset to go from wanting to do tricks and out wide and maybe not being as effective to being this ruthless goal machine? I'm saying some kids at that age would have sh would gone under. Have gone under. He, he never complied with the defensive structure of the team, so actually you were tolerating him from a defensive point of view and then in an attacking point of view he was erratic. He is willing to take risks and he has become a leader and like you say that transformation, his, his character is completely different as well, not just his performance. So he went from being somebody who was frustrating to someone who was absolutely exceptional. But he's got pride and he's got, uh, like I go back to all the time, an obsessiveness with being the best and listen, he came as a kid left him the best player in the world. With my day off, I'm thinking, let's try something new. Let's do something new today. And I got the perfect idea. Something I've never done before. As you see, I'm pulling up to the ammunition shop right now. But I'm not here to buy any guns. I'm here for something else. here because I know they got parachutes and the guy at the store hooked me up with a parachute so you should go ahead and take a guess what we're doing today see when you're the world's best football player sometimes you got to take risk in that mindset you got to believe anything is possible you can survive anything. You can call me an adrenaline junkie if you want to. I just think I got the confidence to do anything it takes. I've never went skydiving before. But everything I've tried, I've been good at. All I gotta do is get this landing right, and we're in business. It's a definite new way to make an entrance. It seems I've caught everybody by surprise. What other footballer do you know will land on a beach? It's gotta be James Wayne, right? The one and only James Wayne. But welcome back, everybody. This is episode number five of James Wayne's Career Mode. And if you are new here, go ahead, subscribe. If you're returning, go ahead, hit the like button. Who is excited to see James Wayne's career keep going? But it's okay. We got a lot to do today. First off, our first game we have here is against Athletic Bilbao. I just want to go ahead and get into it. You guys already know that we're playing on the right wing in the 4-3-3 Falls 9 lineup. But let's go ahead and get into it. I think I'm going to change the format of like when I release these videos. I think I'm going to only do them on Saturday and Sunday. You know, just to get a schedule going. I really want to be consistent with this, but these videos take a long time. 
guys just bear with me you know I've been streaming here lately if you guys watch that but here are our match objectives for the first game here against Athletic Bilbao we have to get a match rating of 8.5 avoid losing the match and get a team possession rate of 55 percent you guys have seen these objectives before so it's nothing new here so let's go ahead and get into the game here we go in the fifth minute trying to make our way around in the attack you know, sometimes you just gotta wait for the right spot here. Playing a ball to me, playing it to Carver Hall, playing it inside the middle, playing it back to me. And we're trying to find Luka Modric here with the first goal of the game. Way to start it off with an assist. All it takes is a potent attack. You know, great passing, great movement. And it leads up to a goal. Of course, with, with Real Madrid's, you know, with Real Madrid's firepower, it makes it a lot easier. But there is Luka Modric with two goals in 20 matches as we do take a 1-0 lead here against Athletic Bilbao. Here we go. 18th minute, what can we make happen inside the box? Trying to take a shot here. It gets deflected by one of their defenders. You know we will have more than just that opportunity. Here we go. In the 20th minute, we got the ball back. Trying to take a shot from deep, but not enough curve on that shot right there. James Wayne getting a little antsy right there, trying his luck. Here we go, 30, first minute, playing down the right side, a little bit too far, but just stay right there, we'll be back on defense, playing it down the right side to me, doing some skin moves here on the side, can we get past the defender inside the box, what can we make happen, James Wayne, getting another assist, this time to Federico Valverde, a beautiful volley by him to go ahead and score that. All you gotta do is be at the right place at the right time, and James Wayne will find you. If he can't do it himself, he's gonna make sure somebody else can do it with him. Right there in the box, beautiful volley right there, because he could have hit it over the net. But there we go, we take a 2-0 lead against Atletico Bilbao. Here we go, in the 42nd minute, trying to make something happen here. Playing it over the top to Carver Hall. Carver Hall played it back to me. And the goalkeeper makes a save as we try to score our first goal of the game. But if you look here at the replay, the goalkeeper didn't even save it with his hands. He saved it with his face. Are you kidding me? 55th minute. Here we go. Carver Hall playing great defense here. Playing it into the middle. I think that is to Benzema. Benzema, of course, is going to score the goal. That gives us three assists. And we just can't get a goal. We've got three assists being the ultimate wingman here. Literally wingman here. Helping our team get this victory. Taking a 3-0 lead against Athletic Bilbao. Can we get our first goal of the game? That's what we're hoping for. That's what we're waiting for. Here we go. Here's our chance. James Wayne with the first goal of the game. It took to the 66th minute to get it almost 67th minute to get it but you just gotta wait for the right time we've already got three assists and we can cap this game off with our first goal maybe we can go for another one here we go 85th minute trying to go for a brace here what can we make happen planning in from a throw in doing some skill moves here on the side but can we get past the defender of course James Wayne can get past the defender with a rainbow flick here and we take a shot and it hits the post we need a replay on that. Somebody look at this rainbow flick here. Brilliant skill here by James Wayne, but we just could not finish. And that will be the end of the game right there. Athletic, Bilbao not scoring a goal here. And of course, we have four. We completed all our objectives here, so our manager rating is completely, or our player rating with our manager is completely fine. Here we're going to go straight into the next game here against Elche. You know, can we continue the success of the first game, finishing with three assists and a goal? Our objectives this game is to get a 9.0 match rating score, one goal from outside the box, and get at least two goals or assists. As you see, they've increased our goal objectives this game, but as the best football player in the world, we're going to try to meet them. Here we go with the first touch of the game. And here's the story about this game. For some reason, everything we shoot gets blocked. As you see right there, two shots are already blocked. Here we go in the 13th minute of the game, coming down the left side of the field, trying to speed past their defender, cutting inside. 
looking for somebody, but we cut inside again, and we take a shot, it gets deflected again. We somehow retain possession, taking another shot here, just trying to throw some luck in there. James Wayne getting the ball again in the 20th minute, going down the right side of the field. What can we make happen? Trying to take our shot from outside the box. Goalkeeper saves that. So we're struggling right here, 23rd minute, trying to play a ball down to Benzema down the middle, and the goalkeeper saves that one. Everything we shoot is getting deflected, blocked, saved, but we're still trying. Look at James Wayne over here doing some skill moves, winning a foul here, trying to get a free kick. Maybe this free kick can change our fortunes, and of course it can because Benzema is right in the box with the header to take the 1-0 lead. When I'm not scoring, Benzema's scoring. Here we go. 70th minute, 69th, 70th minute. What can we make happen? James Wayne calling for it in the middle. And we get our first goal of the game, making it 2-0. James Wayne showing up on the score sheet. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to make the right run. Just pop up in the center. Just pop up in the right place, you know. And hopefully your teammates find you. Here we go. 89th minute. What can we make happen? Can we get that brace that we're trying to get here? The defense is actually playing pretty good. I'm looking for space. I take a shot here, and the goalkeeper saves it. So we are probably not going to get that, that brace that we tried to get. But we do take a 2-0 victory here against Elche. And, of course, for this game, we did not complete any of our objectives. We actually failed every single, we actually failed every single one of them. That's crazy. That is important. Even though we want man in the match, that is important that we have to complete some objectives. But as you see here, I'm going to sim the next game. You know, it is the Copa de España um, tournament. But I just want to get the season going, so I'm going to simulate this game. We did score in our 3-1 to win against Elche. You know, we got one goal. Here we go on to the next game in the Copa de España. I'm also going to sim this game here. Like I said, I just want to get the season going as we win another game, 3-1. to one. This time, we scored another goal with Arsen Arsencio and Luka Modric also scoring in this game. On to the next game. Like I said, it's a Copa de España game, so I'm definitely going to send this one as well. Against Cadiz, we win 4-0. We have scored two goals with Carvajal scoring one and Benzema also scoring the other one. I feel like those games are going to be easy anyway, so I just wanted to go ahead and get past them and get back to league games. So here we go in our next game. I'm actually going to play this game because it is a league game against Granada. You know, we have to continue our success. We have scored in every single game, whether it was Sim or we played it. And I just want to be able to continue the success for, you know, for James Wayne. And of course, since we are having a good run, they increase the objectives to get a 9.0 match rating, get two goals or assists, and take three shots. But we're going to get right into it. Fifth minute, what can we make happen? James Wayne doing some skill moves in the box here, trying to look for some space. Ball gets deflected. We keep it back, and it gets deflected again. 21st minute, coming down the right side, playing it down to the middle. Going to overlap Benzema here. Call for it in the middle. What can we make happen? Try to take a shot from outside the box, and the goalkeeper makes a wonderful save. I put so much power into that shot, and he still saved it. Look at that. Goalkeeper had to outstretch to get that one. Well, here we go in the 40th minute here. James Wayne trying to make something happen. Playing it into the middle to Benzema. Benzema takes a shot, and the goalkeeper saves that one as well. This goalkeeper is having a magnificent day. Here we go, playing the ball into Benzema. Playing it down to the left side. I'm calling for it. Can they get it to me down in the middle? Can we get the first goal of the game? James Wayne scores the first goal of the game right before halftime. Who else but James Wayne? You already know his name. And that just continues our run of goal scoring. Like, the runs that I'm making and the passes that are coming to me are just prone for a goal to happen. And the goalkeeper almost saved that one too as well. That's crazy. We have scored 13 goals in 18 matches. That is an absolute wonderful stat. 
We have to be leading the leading goals. We have to. Here we go. 67th minute. What can we make happen? Holding up play here for a second. Going past the defenders here. Trying to take a shot. It gets deflected. But we will have another chance. Here we go. 88th minute. Near the end of the game. Got to seal the deal for us. Here comes James Wade. Cutting inside. Taking a shot. Making it 2-0. Securing the victory. Who else? But James Wayne. It's been a terrific episode. It's been full of goals, full of assists. This might be the best run we've probably ever had. That makes it 14 goals in 18 matches. As the best football player in the world. Here we go, 90th minute. Can we get the hat trick that we so much want? Look at the skill moves here. Taking a shot right here, and the goalkeeper saves that one. He just didn't want us to score. But there we go. We finished the game 2 0. James Wayne caps it off. I honestly did not think I was going to complete the objectives, but I completed every objective that they gave me. And that will do it for this episode. I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. We are now at 1,500 subscribers. You know, I couldn't do this without you guys. I appreciate you. Peace. Stay tuned for the next episode.